friends uh, this video is going to talk about little understanding about the whole world what is happening the mass migration what is happening uh, throughout the world people are moving from one direction to another direction if you take two to three hundred years or four hundred five hundred years of history or little more or so I'm trying to analyze few things over here. The first photograph is my photograph of my grandfather, uh, Mr. Late Upendra Kishore Pal. My father's name is Pushparanjan Pal and he's Upendra Kishore Pal. He's my last photograph during my marriage it is taken. He was close to 100 years old that time. He was very sick. And you can see from this pho photograph and uh, my both my parents after down the line 22 years like my parents are also no more they have died because of COVID. Hence this video what I am taking today it is the overall analysis of whole thing that is going in my mind that why people migrate from one place to another place after my master degree I moved out from Bengal for doing PhD then postdoctorate then MBA I have settled down in India not in my own state it's far off close to 2000 kilometers away from my motherland that is Bengal to Mumbai Maharashtra I'm living for last 22 years so even though I have left from my home uh, soon after my graduation my education and other things it is all from like you now after master degree everything is from outside Bengal friends what I was trying to tell over here that this migration is a very difficult subject. I, I'm trying to debunk those migration philosophy. I have visited many times to Europe and many countries, Germany, France, uh, Italy, and, and few borders, Switzerland border. I have not gone to Switzerland, but I have most many times I have gone to Finland and went to south korea too okay well what i am trying to even the uk london many times twice i went to london now question what i am trying to tell over here here if you see why people migrate from one place to another place in my mind i have seen in germany and frankfurt and hanover many places like nowhere i could see people from poor European countries coming to Germany for domestic help from Czechoslovakia. The hotel where I have lived, uh, the lady who is who worked for the cleaning purpose and all, they are from Czechoslovakia, they are not the original German people. My question is over here, very simple, like, you no, know, within Europe also things are happening, migration is happening, mass migration is happening for small, small jobs within the territory, they are moving and they are working for a different uh, work they have taken, like domestic work, cleaning, uh, nurse and many things. Now here, if you see, this is a typical model I've been trying to understand. This is what my in India also, you see that many states you have, wherever people find opportunity, say, they, for their respective job, they leave that particular state because when a state is not having any kind of job, then they migrate from that particular state to another state where they find that little bit job opportunity. Let's for example, like Bengal, because I belong to Bengal every time I speak on Bengal, the issue is Bengal, the crisis is not overnight. It is 1947, what had happened, you know, after this formation of uh, your new independent India and all. There are many policies they have come, each state they have taken their developmental agenda to develop their own state. 
it's a democratic country you have state you have the chief minister you have the cabinet you have the agenda and all those things they have done last many years what had happened like uh, there is very little development that is taking place in bengal or for that matter bihar odisha and all those things now from 47 to 2000 22 1947 to 2022 if you analyze this number 375 years there are few generation they have migrated from bengal to different state in india and settled down for their job and other purposes similar way if you see how many other state people they have migrated to bengal it is very negligible you won't find a single maharashtrian or single south indian except few the percentage will be very minimal percentage they have come to bengal for job purpose not for the workers or laborers what is bengal it is happening there are thousands there are millions of bengalis engineers chartered accountant doctors good brain good minds they have migrated for their job because in bengal there is no job last 75 years initial few years it is done with the congress then after that you have the communist the rule close to 35 years under the belt of jyoti bosu so called communist leader and before that you have siddhartha shankar rai or joy bosu and all those siddhartha shankar rai is a great visionary he has done many things for bengal including mother dairy kalyani agricultural university durgapur steel plant many industries he has developed the salt lake present salt lake is the idea of vidhan chandra rai it was a low land marshy land and it is connected to ganga river he has diverted the water and made it uh, a kind of a uh, area for a longer time now it is the city the west costliest and very nice city in bengal it is not the contribution of communist or jyoti bosu but jyoti bosu lived in salt lake which is developed by vidhan chandra rai he was treated in salt lake good hospital he died in salt lake friends what i was trying to tell you it's very interesting i think in bengal whatever development it is done by vidhan chandra rai we are just utilizing him and his capital the harin ghata milk and other things i can keep on telling all those things because he has done a lot of good work and one has to respect him for his work because he is a doctor by heart and he is a human and he is a selfless person dr bishi rai one has to recognize dr bishi rai in many ways and his contribution that is what i was trying to tell him if somebody has to respect it in bengal today it is dr bishi rai and many other personalities are there for their freedom movement and all that is a separate thing i'm talking about the development agenda after vidhan chandra rai he was not chief minister for a long time after that there are some turbulence in bengal the noxal movement came and other things in the communist raj even the noxals are nothing but the extremist part of the communism that is what it is i made a separate video when i was analyzing my brother like no what is those noxals are all about in 1969 to 75 what would happen to bengal i have my critical analysis in that respect the noxal movement in bengal it's very dangerous highly intellectual minds the minds from the presidency college and many other colleges they made into this noxal movement it is like no extreme communist like no when i take the congress khudiram bose is the part of congress you feel so even if you consider him he is the part of congress that time from 1885 to after that khudiram bose is coming because they have taken the violence path in the extreme path and they are the extreme 
element that is coming out from the orbit and they have charged and done many things there are many people they have taken a very extremist path whether those extremist path is good and bad that is a different topic of that can be discussed but i feel they are individual mind they have uh, exercised and they failed instantly what has to be done and maybe one or two or three person they have taken a decision friends what i was trying to tell over here if you see the crow over here i told in my previous videos that the crows are very intelligent bird whenever they feel that there is a sense of food from places and they try to come many times the way people migrated wherever they find the resources the basically the indians they settled down in abroad many places wherever they have got the opportunity having the education i am not questioning of individual because what is more important in the survival for the survival you want to survive you need to earn honestly then what options lay you have to move out and do whatever best you can do nobody if any establishment doesn't like to change it is very kind of a static in nature if you want to understand the matter and his movement the minds in bengal has not changed for many years 75 years not they have not changed anything here people have common people without having anything they have shifted for their work purpose settled down they wish to come back definitely they wish to come back but what is happening uh, if there is no situation no improvement political atmosphere is not good people have not given opportunity many people want to come to bengal and start industry there are big industrialists are there they are ready to come but they think twice or thrice that bitter experience have what had happened in many places in bengal like tata nano singur and other area you know everybody this had not to be explained to everybody it is known in, in public domain in a in this circumstance any industrialist or anybody for that matter when they putting their heart and money taking crores of rupees because to set up any industry you need lot of money this political system doesn't understand the kind of pain in industrialist they take when they established any factory anywhere they brand they them themselves as a bourgeois kind of a zamindar they are the extractor they do all kind of extraction they do don't see industrialist in a positive frame of mind that is what the problem communist have never ever respected the industrialist if somebody wants to establish any kind of factory anywhere in india specifically from the day one they have the bitter relation worker and owner relation because they 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 are strongly believe they are very communist in mind they have the communism in mind they feel they have the theoretical understanding from marx lenin and whoever you say that that equation in the same platform right they feel the from day one they are right they do not understand that established one company it requires lot of courage and strength number one number two it has got a productivity right it has to be functioning for that investment good people good manpower is required and work culture is required in bengal this work culture is totally destroyed by none other than cpm or communist people they don't like to work they only want to talk all goody goody things and that doesn't work at the end of the day, reality i have seen in many factories the after the opening date from next month onwards there is a harotal that they will put union that is the c2 okay their student parties like no chatra parishad sfi all those peoples they are very very kind of aggressive in nature without understanding like you no know, the kind of industry the kind of patience kind of output it takes time to settle down and and also to do the business you have to have like you no know, if any production is there it is not necessarily overnight that to be sold there are many things are there 
but they are only worried they feel that the millionaires like you no know, in, in industries they are millionaire and they have come for a kind of extraction that relationship has to be defined in my my way of saying that we have to give respect what had happened to singu literally mamta banerji has literally thrown out that man like ratan tata can you imagine the man is industrialist he is giving his entire life for the nation building many things including tata institute of fundamental research way back to like no jamshed ji tata air india many hospital cancer research institute many charitable research institute tata institute of social sciences how many names i am going to refer if today if any person is the living gentleman is living in this mother india whom to be respected immediately with a deeper or greater award with a whatever award we have from india in his lifetime if you want to see a good india as a token of respect everybody should come forward give little respect to ratan tata it is not the politician number 1 is a great man with great vision his entire wealth property whatever he has earned he has given for the nation now same air india where jamshed ji tata has created air india it is taken over by government of india could not manage it during congress time it went to a very kind of a messy level thousands of crores of rupees were under the debt and not able to pay the salary maintenance many other things finally present government decided it was going on for a long time to give it the private private organization or any entity to run it now it is coming back to tata again it's a basically a vicious cycle tata deserve it they have got back their right now i wish they will do the justice and they will show to the world that you can run a good air lines i have that much trust on tata mamta banerji and didi um, might be thinking that she has done a great job by throwing out nano from bengal to gujarat i have a simple message to bengal people and bengal government mamta didi this is totally totally wrong number 1 the path you have taken because of that in industry is understand your mind state of mind you can do the further damage nobody is going to put their money in bengal i can telling you you are very much senior to me i want to see another 10 years 15 years you are living i want to see how many industry you want to bring because of that only you are speaking all kind of things like casteful gasful industry because you are very clever you are bringing emotions i am not underestimating and under main mining you are playing with the emotions of close to take in close bengali if you have still any desire to establish any factory or any establishment think over it bring knowledgeable people make it create some industrial hub where you can create different small small micro sector industry and give them with little lower rent or little electricity some concession in the cell tax and other things you can consider those are the things for the many minds they are interested they want to settle down i am also one of them i have a long desire not to be there that route side for a long time for the development part everybody loves their motherland they want to come back once that is what the desire friends what i was trying to tell over here i'm only speaking about the bengal the rest india is having similar kind of stories
but in Maharashtra the story is totally different here you do not find that much job crisis but there are problems if you compare the two different state in the Maharashtra or Mumbai is much better saved the revenue they generate the business they do it throughout the India they are topping the state like in terms of bringing business rest few states probably UP South like Tamil Nadu, Andhra, all those states they are also doing well uh, except Kerala. I have certain reservation towards Kerala. You want to tell talk about that part, friends? So what I was talking about this mine mass migration part, the economic aggression. Here the birds are the models. You can see these birds still. He is there. He is watching the game. His one round, round of attack is done. Now he is trying to attempt second time. Now this time he will bring many other friends over here. I want to see that how much time is sitting. In the meantime, I am trying to explain the thing. What is their idea in my mind? In this model I am trying to say few things, few messages. This migration is not uh, overnight that is taking place. For 100 200 years, this migration is there. If you think of the real migration, is taken the day we have shifted from a Libyan society to industry that is in 18th 19th century when the actual uh, industrialization took place in the London, UK, United States of like you no know, the Britain, what you call it at uh, that time. Or present day Britain. That time, this uh, new industry is coming, people are moving from their villages and all those things to city line. And that time, the actual migration took place, and this is happening for this thing. Okay, well, we need the industrialization, that is fine, but uh, again, you need to have manpower for that. That's why in city, in present day, you see. It. The population density is much more higher. Now this mass migration due to industrialization in Europe uh, and started again in America. The machine tool came into the picture. Uh, many things, many aspects to that. So when the car and other like you know, a motor driven kind of thing, there is a new opportunity for people to work in various fields. Actual growth and development took place many times. So, in this time now, in, I'm coming back to India. What had happened in India? The great minds, great intellectuals, wherever they have found, they have switched over. Switched over for their job, for their security here. If you take the common society, it is not everywhere you will find 100% intellectual. There are Non-intellectuals also, there are also people with no qualification. Some are skilled labor, skilled workers. For their survival point of view, they have moved out and they failed wherever they can work for a company or work for an industry, work for an organization in the honest way so that they earn a little bit money for their family, they can support. Many people work as a migration like you no know, worker like in Canada, what is happening or all this Arabian world from India they are migrating. Canada the harsh condition, the Indian people are can be adapted anywhere that is what and they are hard working people. They are hard working people, uh, not in their own motherland, the outside. I am not <laughs> trying to tell over here the people in their own country or state. They, don't work they feel the urgency of work. I do not know why this is happening. I have observed many states like you know, Bengal, Bihar, Odisha, Kerala. Uh, many many friends I have I have a discussion with them why this is happening. Only one thing is there like you no know, they feel that 
or society is going to tell that if you work something up to having your qualification, it is better to move out and do whatever you want to do. People are going not to be recognized or people don't ask any questions. So you can work in any level, whatever work you get, it, you do it. So nobody is watching you. If only the people are watching it. Their respective countries people watching you. You want to avoid that part. That is what the societal thing is the picture. Look, I, I've, I've told many times, many videos, you know, what is good or bad, you only think how you see it, like, you know, what kind of pursuance or you, how, how much you can pursue your journey in that direction that is more important. Here, in terms of migration, many people have migrated, I have told you, from, moved out from Bengal to different state, went to settle down. There are few Nobel laureates also originate from Bengal, they have settled down and now they are doing the intellectualism and all those things. I talked in many videos, I am not referring that one. Every time I am referring the Bengal intellectuals, I have published six, seven, eight, eight videos uh, and it's a long subject. Specifically the economics coming, the economic science, I told you are not uh, Nobel laureates, Dr. Roviji, Dr. Ramat Hussain. And what kind of propagation theories is proposing, like, you no, know, leading to government and to talk free bills and many things, like, you know, allowing people to get into the system. I have talked in many videos, one can refer my videos for that purpose. What happened to other states? Other states also the same thing. Whoever the creamy people, creamy students, they have either settled in India or doing something or getting into government job, there is even though there is no much more scope in government sector. Now the question is here, we have to create an opportunity and within our limited resources, well, we have seen the heritage and background, like you know, how we have been attacked by different invaders, including the Mughals. Now we can understand India is a very wealthy country, many things are there. You have such a fantastic weather conditions. I have been talking to my friend that I have visited Finland and in Finland there is no crow. For that matter, many animals, you won't find many animals over there. The reason is simple because of the temperature is goes up to minus 20, 25 degree temperature in the winter season and you have 18 to 20 hours only dark then day. You won't be able to understand whether it is in the night or day. So there are many issues. That's why this living animals and all you will find uh, mostly in the temperate uh, regions. The crow is a very interesting bird. One can see, one can note few points over here. Here in, they can be used for our defense purpose. Their mechanism, their behavioral pattern I have studied. Their patience, many things I have studied, it can be totally, totally replicated. I can correlate the kind of penetration or understanding they have to pick up collectively this chicken or the foods. It can be compared with America when they have tried with Bin Laden. How they dig down Bin Laden, that story is known to everybody in the night. But this is happening in daylight, picking up chicken pieces. Again, I'm not describing wow, this American they have done and taken out Bin Laden from Abbottabad and all that. I'm telling the same thing. They digged out from me, Iraq, Saddam Hussein. There are many heads that has been taken. Friends, what I was trying to tell over here. If the bar's behavior is being used for the defense or kind of a security system, one can think of. Even they are identifying the different objects, modules, their clear vision, clear movement and very tactical way of handling things without getting into more conflict, you can correlate with Chanakyaniki. They are not the crew great Sea crow, Chanakko crow, that is what. It is not present that the idiot Prasant Kishore, that is what I want to say. People talk about, I have seen 
Again, I'm little levitating, taking little maybe one minute. People are giving a lot of importance to Prashant Kishore. Let me tell you, summarize this fellow in two sentences. He's an idiot fellow. He's spoiled in the Indian society and he's getting his intellectual satisfaction by using this full political system and he's making his roti, he's earning. Be careful about whoever is listening. Be careful about this fellow Prashant Kishore. People who talk about this gentleman as a Chanukya, he is not 0.000000001% of Chanukya. I can tell you this much. I have nothing to say about if Prashant Kishore is listening probably. Now you can decide whether you want to continue this profession. If you have the sense of understanding of the development and the, your motherland, I think you are qualified, want to understand that. But don't do the bad politics. Don't play with the common people. Give good advices. There's nothing wrong giving good advices to government for the better man. But just to get hold, don't do this dirty gaming. I know everything what you have done recently in Bengal. Friends, so uh, what I am trying to be within the society, democratic society, what are their bad elements, good elements are there. One has to recognize simply telling somebody great and brilliant these things are not good. You have to see that what kind of work are doing and for that purpose you are telling good or bad. My fourth submission is uh, prose. As I have told, it is living across the globe except the extreme low temperature region. You will find everywhere millions of crows in the caravans. Starting from America, the entire America, your Africa, Arabian world, Asian countries, wherever you see that crows, crows are everywhere. Crows are there in our heart also. But that inner crows has to be raised and analyzed in a positive manner, that is what I was trying to tell you. Pros are very much democratic in nature and their collective consciousness, they do it. We also can equally raise our collective consciousness in a positive direction, that is what I want to feel. And one can do a lot of research, animal behavior studies on cat. I am requesting government of India or your conservation department, whoever, start a new program on cats behavioral studies that is going to open up many things and you can also make good technologies from the behavioral pattern of cats, uh, sorry, the pros, that is what I want to tell over here. The fifth point, their adaptive condition, they can live in a harsh condition, food without food or many things like they can uh, fly first, attack first, collaborate first. In a perfect society, probably one can make a note that how to learn from the crow rather than telling crows are the bad bird, bird something. I think they are the first municipal, three of course, Safai Karmachari, they are doing even not even without paid, it is that they know. Cats, uh, crows population also is getting reduced day by day. I can see their problem. They are not allowed to sit any place near to your home, only trees. The trees numbers are going down so that cats populations also, crows populations also is getting reduced. So we need to take care of both angles. Friends, uh, I've been speaking for a long time. The reason behind these are all camera fitted and I'm trying to see whether uh, is there any possibilities for coming again because now Time is also very important. Once they find already people are there, their kittens are there, they try to avoid it. Here one has to learn things that the mental status like you know, uh, in your personal life or so, if you see that something is going bad, it is better to be silent than to be silent. In case of nation, what is happening that you know, it's a fit for that kind of thing. Also situation has to be created. 
by realizing the situation how much it is not every time you feel the situation is very danger for that matter you have to put your all army and everything now you see this is simply incident what is happening now you know, basically defense also you can use this idea for different application and some mathematical problem can be solved cats is a good great mind now <coughs> scientist also is trying to understand cats mind because it's a small brain and doing multiple work and they're the most intelligent parts crows 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 is black and beautiful is a black and beautiful that is what i want to tell over here so so the many concept can be developed and giving little importance to people who are very black in nature but one is to start think of their hard working mind many things that have to be respected friends uh, this crow is probably won't be able to come even though i have some foods over here because they have a deeper sense of understanding analyzing the timings that how many times three or four times this crow came and he went out he has seen there is a human movement some cats movement here and there so he probably they're also worried about their life very much i have many videos to show that if you stand and uh, they just see group of crows they will use a kind of certain kind of uh, sound that comes sound very peculiar i have seen it for cats also for rats also those things are very kind of they use their different vocal cord they use it either they do ma or ma or ma or similar way you can find out for crows uh, they can use their vocal cord in a different way to convey this message i have observed this crow what they do they come to this particular grill they sit if they found things are fine they single handedly does this job and went back If they found the situation is very critical, he try to raise his voice like, you know, his own voice. What you say, bro? But I'm not able to uh, mimic those things. But the changing scale, like, you know, in high pitch, you call other things. Immediately try to want to try to understand. that i am not able to do it i need support that is what the collective responsibility is coming with the picture for execution friends i was talking about the crows uh, my observation for many years on crows uh, finally it's boiling down to few points of the marais crows are very very intelligent species and they are very much patient you wait and watch everything very carefully their each movement is very measured and calculated even though we feel that we are sometimes annoyed with their noise and all those things maybe it might be bothering many people uh, but uh, they are doing the right job in nature and they should the early morning they get up the habit of Five o'clock, they will get up and try to um, make a gathering and make a noise. They have the deep concept of society. One crow doesn't fight with another crow, but they will fight with another birds. That is another important lesson. They exercise their full biological skills with full power and energy, very collectively. And their brain. is very mature and they take the decision once they target certain things they try to fulfill it whichever way they will find the opportunity they are the greatest salesman like marketing man intelligent man i think they are the greatest mind and all bars there is scientific research for their behavioral studies we human want to learn from the nature i've been telling the nature is having lot of things 
millions of birds millions of animals they are surviving and they have their own struggle and journey and the survival mechanism another point why i want to make they don't think for tomorrow they live in instant moments time that is what it is more important once you understand this philosophy the philosophy of maya bad also you will understand that we humans are the part of maya bad those are not maya badis they are very practical they are very rational thinkers where the idea of oil distribution is coming into the picture when uh, a crow gets any rat or any prey they don't eat alone they share it you can find this concept of socialism or democracy nice democracy if you want to imagine so you want to use the cats uh, cat and as well as uh, rat as well as crows model friends i have been speaking i have been speaking for long time many issues because i could visualize uh, uh, this is a high time for us to think of different dimension like you know, understanding the nature understanding the animal behavior how they work how they react the timing is the get up different animal comes out on street roads and uh, their prey in different time prey that has to be analyzed like in our ed- education system also many things probably those can be taken taken into consideration like the knowledge part and talking about for the kids for the development of <coughs> character sorry friends the crows are part of civilization like human being they are closely associated uh, with the humans also like uh, the human being uh, like <coughs> like dogs and <coughs> sorry cats also same way they they pursue a different way they are also part of the society so it's a high time for us to do carry out and understand the uh, analytical way to understand the crows their minds and mentality so that this can be used for our <coughs> understanding the society or not that is the point what i can say we have many things to learn from the birds only thing are you have to change your mind frame whether to learn something or not that is is that the individual choice collective choice or country choice i talked about many times say if you want to have a good economy a prosperity you have to address the common goal basic goal whatever resources you have to channelize it at proper direction that is direction must come from the society individual contribution there must be some rules and regulation to implement those rules and one should make sure it is followed up or not only speaking speaking it doesn't help you need to have courage and to take a decision maybe not one or two decision to one idea can be taken into consideration like you know if you are proposing something better meant you need to see whatever the best possible way to do that only talking is not going to help talking is going to not help because finally in ground line line you need millions of people to execute those things and you need to change the mentality also if i take the crow's mind and also human mind it cannot be compared <coughs> it cannot be compared at all friends crows are much more generous uh, if you think of human human are self centric individualistic individually they want to explore many things that is what that's why for the leadership what i'm trying to tell over here for human they want to rule a uh, kind of thing in nature uh, it is been dis- decided i talked about if you analyze 5000 years of history of the civilization the human civilization your monarchy zamindar system it was taking more share than the democracy democracy has come 
19th century or this 20th century, whichever you say it. But before that, kings, instead of wealth capturing, uh, accumulating, then ruling, that mentality was there. Similar way in a society, you need to see in human society, <coughs> similar kind of model, parallel model for understanding one can draw or not. I'm pretty sure it is possible to draw a similar kind of line and understanding, taking crows, rats and cats in mind. I feel they're very kind of a social, even though they have the fights, those fights are not to be taken very seriously, but in case of human, this aggression deprives something to the common people. It is all deliberate, deliberate way it has been done. But our society is total, totally mechanism. I told my previous videos that if you consider the world's uh, um, the living world, our human share is below 1%, rest 99% is your plants, animals, small bird and insect, algae, all those things, mera in life, if you consider, those are taking close to 99%. But in your ecological pyramid, if you see, humans are sitting on top and trying to control everything and this is, I feel, against the concept of equilibrium. Friends, uh, many things to talk about, many issues to be discussed. Until or unless we are convinced uh, by certain fundamentals in life and certain fundamentals, the nature, the way things they are doing by themselves, then probably it will be easier for a society, human society like us. Again, the, whether those to be executed or not, it is not my concern, at least for understanding purpose, it is very important to know all those things, so that you gradually change yourself a little bit, and, or if one is finding any relevance properly, this change in your own mind and attitude, that is what is more important. Your leadership quality, pursuance of certain things, your interest to pursue certain things, full-heartedly that is more important it is not you do certain things and halfway you get frustrated and you come back probably one has to learn from this animal world how they nurture their kids with adverse conditions various other factors are involved what every time i say nature is a complex things and if you consider these birds and animals plants they're the part of nature probably they have also equal right to survive, equal right to produce, equal right to have food. If you deny or anybody is denying or if they are not getting access to such kind of things, sometimes they do the silent protest also. The silent protest in the different forms, so that has to be again understood. If two cats are fighting or two rats are fighting or two rat or cat or any other animals are fighting means there is a scarcity of many things. It can be of biological need, it can be of food and shelter, many other things. I have more deeper video which can analysis love and understanding of a kitten, how they treat their own human friend and this video I am going to maybe releasing today, I have already taken up because I do not have time. Whatever things I am speaking, it is sometimes sitting in front of toilet, sitting, going and walking, I am doing it. I don't spend much more time on those energy. Only thing I am speaking, my mind, I only concentrate few things, probably what I am going to speak. I don't refer many books or journals for that matter. My purpose of making all those videos to make it simple to understand your life and others' life, whole holistic way of understanding all those things, so that you can improve upon yourself, whether you can improve a little bit and what the animal world doing, getting up early morning, doing many jobs, many work, whether we can do it or not. I was just talking about our education system. Even I was thinking to propose, I have my vision document now, I'll be taking uh, vision documents for my Bengal, I'll project it. How you can make it is a sustainable education system where 
you don't ask money from the government i have my own plan in my mind if it is been applied i am minded but since you are with the capacity of 400 500 student where we will need 10 or 12 15 teacher to teach them your salary can be generated self way <clears throat> by using the same infrastructure and facilities by doing small small thing that i am going to propose and i am not discussing over here friends once you can thank you very much i have started with pro and uh, uh, ending with crow that is a happy note crow is bella very black in nature so there is a nice song krishna koli ami tarei boli kalo tare jare bole gaer loke kalo se jatoi kalo khok देखे सीतार कालो हरिण चो यू आर रोमांटिसाइजिंग सामबडी बट रवींद्रनाथ हेज नॉट गॉट द आइडिया ऑफ रोमांटिसाइजिंग नेचर द क्रोज इज टॉकिंग इन आई एम रिपीटिंग कृष्ण कोली आमी तारे बोली कालो तारे जले जत बोले गायर लोक कालो से जत ही कालो भोग देखे तार कालो हरिण चोक फ्रेंड्स आई डू नॉट हैव द स्क्रिप्ट आई माइट बी नॉट टेलिंग एग्जैक्टली वन और टू वर्ड आई एम पुटिंग फ्रॉम माय साइड नेवर माइंड बट इन नेचर द क्रोज द ब्यूटी ऑफ क्रोज एंड देयर इंटेलिजेंस ब्यूटी प्लस इंटेलिजेंस लाइक इफ हेयर इफ आई कंपेयर पीकॉक एंड क्रो I'll give much more marks to crows than peacock. Peacock has got the beauty, the ability, their color, their shape, size is very fantastic. But if you think of their brain, you can give. If you give, let's say for crow, their brain eighty to ninety percent. I'll give you peacock. even not more than 10% here is coming the beauty and brain i'll talk separately what is beauty in your way what is actual beauty is all about that has to be understood if that is understood probably you don't need a miss universe or miss world some kind of thing friend again i am diverting from this topic because many things are coming in my mind i am releasing one by one and trying to put into the video so that if anybody is reading probably with their clarity they can think and they can question also there is absolutely no problem our most of the society everything has been created and decided artificially probably taken from various input either it is in the case of food in the case of your defense it can so be your shelter I have not told about a very beautiful thing about the crow the way they make the nest with taking everything into consideration picking up very selective things making their nest how many and they make it is a very good structure so that it lasts for longer lasts for their generations see what a crow we might be thinking while making their nest you see they are bringing iron rods bringing cellulosic material bringing mud sometime they make their nest such a beautiful and fantastic way the sticks from the dried plants and all they make it make it in a little high places so that there is no access to any kind of prey they are coming or attacking them how wonderful this is probably one has to see to sometime we see many things in nature we simply ignore them that's why every time i say your analytical power is important how deeply and great way you are analyzing friends whatever i am speaking i have little understanding what is going on globally because if i read and refer probably it will be i'll try to take the same path that's why i use my rational thinking and understanding out i have never ever studied the crow probably not searching any literature or any that i'm speaking that with my rational thinking what i'm going to talk about the diet 
uh, what, uh, talk about the pros and trying to see observing their behavioral pattern those things that i've been speaking this has got a real relevance i feel at the end of the day friends i have a few more seconds left probably i want to thank everybody that i could able to do this thing the small message if anybody is watching probably they can share their thoughts because they are also watching the animal world i want to enrich my knowledge to see that things what are the things happening in nature we can pick up many things and if you can utilize it if an individual or a country for that matter the group the living standard can be elevated the mental standard can be elevated and the education and other things can be also part of this knowledge and understanding skills in of the crows rats and cats friends i think i have covered up everything i want to thank and to everybody it is not i am giving my time energy not to fulfill my intellectual satisfaction in that the, the day i think everybody be aware about the facts that what are the things happening and i am only sharing this information i do not have anybody if anybody is not interested to listen to what i am speaking it's their choice no problem i do not have any problem i do not have any problem from from my side also this is my own idea and understanding if i am not speaking then who is going to speak that is what it is society the people who are ruling the country i made many videos i question their credibility over here even if they do not have the idea they can always borrow, borrow those ideas or different places our constitution has also written by borrowing different countries democracy man like baba so amit kapoor could do it why not us have consultancy good consultancy of different industry have open mind otherwise will be a kind of a mediocre things mediocre level thinking making memes and all doing all kind of frustration giving frustration it has got no end look here the chief minister or prime minister for that matter whoever the leaders they are there to see thank you very much bye, -bye.